Well, today was the 15th day in a row San Antonio residents have faced triple digit heat. If you bought, bought plants before the summer started and they've already started to wilt, well, you're not alone. And even the plants deemed to be drought resistant are struggling to survive in the San Antonio heat. The night team's Avery Everett tells us why even the most resilient plants are struggling this summer. I'll just enjoy my single bloom for the meantime until it puts on another round. In a garden like Haley Giambalvo's, you might expect to see more flowers growing than just this one. Once we got into several weeks, 100 degree temperatures, things just really kind of shut down a little bit in terms of blooming. Her garden is full of drought resistant plants. I've been trying to just add more of those. But high heat across San Antonio is hindering any growth. So because we haven't had any rain recently, there's no flowers on it. Even with a watering schedule out at Rainbow Gardens, drought resistant plants are struggling this summer. It's been exceptionally hot. We've had almost no rain this summer. And so it's really challenging for these plants to survive without irrigation. But Brandon Kirby says a bloom doesn't define a plant's success. But you kind of have to reframe what's, a, what's, what's beautiful. And over time, he says more of these plants could actually help change the city's water usage. We can and do have water issues here in San Antonio and drought tolerant plants can help mitigate some of that damage that you know the development has done and, and the lack of rain, the drought that we've experienced the last couple of years. That's the goal of Giambalvo's garden. You have to have that patience. She's keeping her hopes high. We're gonna bounce back the next time we get a good rain. And holding on, knowing these plants can push past San Antonio's high heat. So if you go and buy a drought resistant plant from the store and you expect it to be drought resistant right off the shelf, gardeners here tell us that it takes about a full year of watering to really get these plants to truly become resistant to high temperatures. Avery Everett, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.